here because it's all down it because the metal was exposed to the air for so long and the rain and it just reacted with it and you could tell like the water was running off here because the sluice down the side and uh that's chemical weathering because it's been oxidized by the air and the elements of nature okay. I hit my head. These rocks have been physically weathered because you can see like how this one's kind of big and this one's like really tiny and you can tell like it's been torn apart from another rock because of the physical weathering. On this one you can see how it's like, it's like, it's been like torn apart by like the weathering and then like on this big rock, the rocks have been like came out of it and stuff because of the physical weathering. weather. See how this is a small rock and this is like a big one and once this small rock could have been just as big as this one because over the years <laughs> over the years and the weathering this has been broken down and probably has been broken down too and like you can tell by like these rocks and this one you can tell it's been like definitely been weathered you can see and so are these. Okay, this is water erosion. <laughs> the water carries the sediment down here and that's water erosion. <laughs> it leaves the sediments down there and that's uh, the water depositing it, which is an example of deposition. Okay, so as you can see, this rust that This is kind of bad. Oh my god, this is so bad. Hey, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> But you are the wind. I hate the wind. <laughs> and it's the tree. Okay, I say A plus for effort. Yeah, <laughs>